so you recognize this pretty face right here. It's Stephanie Mansour from Step It Up with Steph. And we've gotten together a few times. We've been in the gym, we've been in the studio, but since we're so tight, I brought her over to my house because Steph, I'm really struggling with the snacking during the day. Sometimes you're grinding through, you don't know any better. You grab those chips, you mm -hmm. grab that fried food, you grab that chocolate. I'm snacking in all the wrong ways. You're gonna help me out today, right? Yes, and I know that's a common problem for many people, especially when you're on a weight loss track well, and you're tempted by the vending machine at work or you're tempted by people bringing you in treats. Baked goods, yeah. Girl Scout cookies, all of it. <laughs> I never say no, I'll try anything once. Yeah, well, and your blood sugar levels get a spike from those sugary sure. or carb snacks and then they drop back down. So it's really important to have healthy snacks on hand. So one common misconception about a healthy snack is that one piece of fruit is not enough. Yeah, it doesn't feel like enough when I have one. It's good. It, it is enough? Or it is not enough. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. More so, food? This already sounds good. Yes, sounds more terrible. food. Yes, we want to beef things up a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a little bag of nuts or something okay. that has protein in it okay. paired with your piece of fruit. So never just have an apple or a banana or an orange by itself. Always pair it with a protein. All right, so moving on, hummus and veggies are another big snack. And this is really easy to take on the go. But again, you want to make sure that you're portioning it out. So about two tablespoons here is all you need for one serving, okay. okay? So this is in a little to-go container. You can pack this, bring it with you to work. Easy peasy. Yep, and then go ahead and just dip some carrots in there or another vegetable, and this is it for your hummus. And then moving on, This same is one of thing. my favorites right here. I'm a big <laughs> the almond, almond butter. butter. Yeah. Did you eat it with the spoon? Yeah, I actually enjoy yeah. the almond butter. This is one that if you're not like big into like eating healthy, go with the almond butter, because it tastes really good. It does, A lot yes. of flavor. Yes, so again, two tablespoons here. So let's say you're dishing this out. Let's say you come home, and it's not quite dinner time yet, but you want a little bit of a snack. This is the crunchy here, it's really gooey. So we've got two tablespoons of that and you can dip in celery. You can I go apples. A yes, we got go apple apples. slices for you. You can eat this if you want while I give you a little education. I love to eat during a segment. So at least 10 grams of protein. This one has 15 grams. These bars only have three grams. So you really wanna make sure that you're reading the labels so that you're not you know, getting confused or making a mistake that can actually break the caloric bank. So this is almost 200 calories, Perfect. only three grams of protein, not worth it. So be on the lookout for healthy beef jerky wow, that's low in sodium. Great. Yes, 15% or less. Easy peasy. Well, this body is no accident. Clearly, I'm doing all of these things wrong. <laughs> that's why I got Steph here. We got much more coming up. Stick with us. Look at Jordan on his way. Yeah. I know. He looks so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you guys substitute anything or do you just go dive into the bad food? No, no. I mean, I think you definitely have to. This, this day and age, you guys, you gotta get really? organized. You gotta I get don't organized. Substitute. Well, you don't. You just what dive you right mean? into bad food. Uh, yeah, like what I do you sort mean? of. Feel, I kind of feel like if I want something, I just want to eat it, and then I won't go binge. Look, of the three yeah. of us talking about bad food, I'm clearly the expert in this situation. But Ooh, that's what's that, your vice? Oh man, Ooh, what isn't my vice? <laughs> a jar of peanut butter and a spoon is my vice, for God's sakes. Anything else? But what I try and do, like like they were saying, is replace it with stuff, and it all starts at the grocery store. The things that you're buying. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I always stock in my fridge is a ton of asparagus. I love asparagus oh. and it fills me up. I just that throw it on a plate. That is the weirdest thing what? ever. No, no, I just have it ready to go in case I'm hungry and I just throw it in the oven and eat it up. It's easy. There you that go. That is so That's funny. my one thing. Protein or a tub snacks. of ice cream. Yeah. Protein snacks is what I get. That helps fill me up. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot to Steph there. For more tips, just head to stepitupwithsteph.com.